Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart, then you can start to make it. Anytime you feel the pain, hey Jude, refrain. Don't carry the world up on your shoulder. Na 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 na. Hi guys, this is how to play Hey Jude by the Beatles. Um, part of 10 songs teaching you how to master your B7 chord as part of my beginners course which is all for free and you can find it at andyguitar.co.uk um, Let's get started with uh, your verse. We'll go straight into your verse with Hey Jude. Now I'm playing this um, with a capo at first fret with um, an E chord as your first chord in this song and every chord being kind of proportionate to that E chord. Um, the chord sequence, I've written this down for you. It's in the link to the description below, so check that out. It's in the songbook style, so there's not too many riff points. We're kind of either strumming on the beat or at the same time as a certain word, so this is all things you should have come across already in my beginner's course. Um, so we have one bar of E for Hey Jude. Don't make it bad is a B7. Take a sad song is another B7. And make it better is an E major. And that's your top line all for a bar of each. Start of the second line is we have an A major. I'm playing this the same way as I've taught in my beginners course, but you can play three in a line. That's totally fine. But on the E and the B7, we want to make sure that we're not playing this thickest E string. Otherwise, your A chord might not sound too great. And we want to be able to hear those thinner strings ringing out great, whichever way you play an E or a B7. Um, this is for remember to let her into your heart. It goes back to an E. Ending on a B7. For a bar and E for a bar. So as I say, this is in songbook style. So you're going to really want to check out that link to the uh, to the chord sheet and view this video on my website, most likely. So if you haven't done that already, definitely advise you do that now. It's all there for free, so check it out. Um, so with that in mind, let's do one strum of each chord for your verse. First of all, nice and easy for a bar of each from your E on Hey Jude. Just one strum per bar to start off with. Hey Jude, don't make it B7. Another B7, and make it better is an E to an A major. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start this B7 to make it better. And then we have all of those same chords again, but for the lyrics to the second verse. So again, same thing, but either strum on the beat, or even better, if you could strum power eights, or eights strumming with all down, so one and two and three and four, strumming eight times for a bar, uh, that will sound exactly like the record. That's what we're going for. So the second verse, two, three, Hey Jude, and two and three, don't be afraid. Three and four, and another bar of B7. Back to an E, E, and two and three and four. Second line, A chord, back to an E, E, two. Then you can start B7, back to an E. And that's all there is to all of the verses in this song. It always stays perfectly to those chords that I've just shown you. Um, kind of the bridge section to this song, or I guess a chorus. So any time you feel the pain um, is an E7 to start off with, which is really easy to do. 
um, we are taking off your third finger here of your E major chord. So just lift off your third finger and you'll hear that the chord's kind of changed but it still sounds like an E chord. It just sounds a bit bluesy or a bit jazzy. That's your E7 chord. Very useful um, but isn't exclusive to jazz or blues music. This is used in standard pop songs all the time. Um, so really useful to know um, and we'll be doing more about seventh chords in a later video. We're just going to learn to use it at the moment. So third finger off for a bar. So anytime you feel the pain goes to an A chord. Hey Jude refrain is another A chord. Uh, fourth bar don't carry the world upon your shoulder and then it's the same uh, exactly the same chords again E7 well you know that it's a fool who plays it another bar of A and then another B7 back to an E so those two bars uh, those two lines of the chorus I guess um, is are absolutely identical and then we have a little tricky bit here. Na 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 na. Uh, and here we have just two strums and a bar with just two beats for your E7 chord. One, two. And if you think about the the na na na's, that goes really well with it. Na 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 na. Then we change to your new B7 chord. Na 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 and that's for a whole bar and then just one strum of B7 again for a bar. So um, this is where if you want to make any extra notes, I've written it out pretty clearly on the chord sheet, but if you want to write exactly where to start and stop strumming there or what happens with each strum, go ahead, you can print it off and, and write it down there. But I'll just show you one more time. Na na one two B7, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, and that's that extra three bars, even though one bar only lasts for two strums. Um, in music, that is written, four, four time is written with a number four and then a four underneath it, meaning four, one, four beats that each last a crotchet each, so one beat each, and here there's just a bar with two beats. In it, so that that is something that can happen in pop music. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Um, so that last line, one more time, played along to me. Two, three, na 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 na, B seven, and one strum, and then that's it. You're back to a verse. So let's do uh, your verse one more time, nice and easy. But I want to see you do some power eight strumming this time. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, from your E major back to a verse. Hey, G, and two, and three, and four, B7, two, and three, and four, and again, two, three, four, B, two. Second line of your verse, remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Now, if this is the um, full seven, eight minute version of Hey Jude that you want to play along to and you want to do all the verses, then it will go back into another chorus there. Um, I'd advise just to make this a little bit of a more edited version to make it about four or five minutes long. Um, the love version on the more recent kind of Beatles remix album is only about four minutes long of, of Hey Jude, but it's a full proper version of it. And um, that's a really useful one to play along to so that when you're practicing, the song doesn't last eight minutes every time. So there it would go. Better, 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 better. And he goes really high, okay? That's a really nice warning to tell you that you're going into the ending and that you're not going into another verse or a chorus. And your ending is really easy because we've got this capo on. It becomes E major for a bar, a D major for a bar, A major for a bar, and finally E. So E, D, A, E, each for a bar. 
one, um, just as an example of that, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A, two, three, finish on E, two, three, four. And for that whole epic ending that Paul McCartney has been closing every major European event with for the last 30 odd years or so, the Olympics and whatnot, um, they're the chords to it. That's how you play. It's pretty straightforward. Fantastic for, for to get a sing-along going with your friends or at a party or when your family's present. Um, a really good, fun song. Really easy to do. Let's have a go at it now together. From an E major in one, two, three, four. Na, 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 D. Then an A. Na, 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 na. And repeat. Na 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 na. Hey Jude, hey Jude, repeat again. Na 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 na. Hey Jude. Eighth down strums. One and two and. end it there fantastic stuff so I hope you can get a sing-along going with your friends with that one it's a really great song to have in your repertoire a good crowd number I guess uh, please subscribe if you've liked this video and, and ch check out the other songs on my website andyguitar.co.uk um, if you dig what I do and I'm sure I'll see you again